The active seam or flat seam machine produces a seam which is flat, comfortable, and durable. Ideal for knits and performance garments, the flat seam retains the stretch of the fabric and can aid in contouring to the body without restricting movement. Just like an overlock machine, this machine also has a blade which trims away fabric beyond the quarter inch stitch width as the fabric is fed through the machine. Panels are sewn right sides together and then gently peeled open to activate the flat seam effect. The end result has a tightly spaced horizontal stitch or ladders on the face of the garment and interlooped stitches on the back. This durable, low profile seam makes it ideal for active wear as well as intimates when bulky seams can get in the way of a delicate design. This machine uses three threads to create the flat stitch, two top needles and one lower looper. The threading instructions are posted on the wall next to this machine if you ever need to review these steps. As with an overlock machine, thread the flat seam machine from right to left, starting with the lower looper and then the two straight stitch needles. If you ever experience an issue with the stitches not forming or breaking after a few inches, try re-threading in the proper order. To thread the lower looper, slide open the top plate, open the side door to view the inside of the machine, and raise the lever to release and swing open the presser foot. This way we have a clear view of the needles. Just like the overlock machine, this machine has an active blade, so always thread the machine with the power turned off. Bring the looper thread up through the thread guide in the cone stand and down towards the machine. Atop the machine are two stationary thread guides and then a set of tension plates. Make sure the thread is flossed between these plates. Run the thread through a series of six more thread guides on the front of the machine. It may be helpful to use a threading tool or tweezers for this step, if threading from scratch. Next, the thread travels under the plate which catches the blade's trimmings through another stationary thread guide and then straight upwards until it reaches a small channel and tunnel. Threading through this tunnel is the trickiest step with this machine. You'll need to use a threading tool and the eye of the looper needle must be perfectly in line with the tunnel. Spin the flywheel until you can see the lower looper bobbing towards the left. You'll be able to tell when the looper aligns because you'll be able to push the threading tool all the way through. Once the looper is threaded, pull your thread tail out towards the back of the machine. We can now close up the side door and top plate of the machine and we'll move on to threading the top needles. Two top needles are much simpler and more like threading a straight stitch machine. The two top stitch needles follow the same course through their own sets of stationary thread guides and tension plates. They also have their own color coded system outlined in the diagram posted next to the machine. Once the threads have traveled through their thread guides, the final step is to feed the thread through the left and right needle from front to back. These needles are slightly trickier to thread as they are curved, so using a thread guide or tweezers may be helpful. Repeat these steps for the left needle until you have all three threads running out the back of the machine. Return the presser foot to its locked position and now the machine is threaded and we're ready to sew. The flat seam machine creates a quarter inch wide stitch. The blade will trim away all excess fabric beyond the stitch width, so be mindful of this blade as you sew, as to avoid cutting into your garment. Unless your pattern is drafted with the intention of cutting away excess fabric, simply aim to have the raw edges of your fabric graze the blade, trimming away any loose fibers or threads. Be sure to remove all pins before the fabric reaches the blade, as this can severely damage the machine. When you're finished with your seam, chain off a long tail before clipping your threads. The benefit of a flat seam is that it retains the stretch of the knit fabric while reducing the profile of the seam. To finish the seam, gently tug on the seam to activate the flat seam effect. The end result will have horizontal ladder stitches on the right side of the garment and overlocked stitches on the back side. You may choose to reverse this if you prefer the look of the overlocked side. Simply sew your panels wrong sides together instead of right sides together. When you're finished sewing, always leave a long tail for the next student and clear away any scraps or debris from the table or floor.